Message from John Lennon from the Higher Realms Experiencing more than you realize Greetings, friends. We are very pleased to have this time to speak with you today. And so, in continuation from last week's message, our writer wishes again to speak with that presence you knew most recently on Earth as John Lennon. Caroline Greetings, my friend. So many who read the March 18th message said they were very happy to hear from you again. Lennon, well, I'm never short of ideas, so you're likely to find me ready to chat at any time. Greetings to all. Caroline. I'm wanting to continue on with what we were discussing last week. You talked about how many who are starseed have a hard time relating to time the same way Earth souls relate to it. I've noticed that when people channel from ETs, or light beings, and when our friend who is a white knight of the Ashtar command relays what his contacts are saying, they will use that word soon, and over the last few months, very soon fairly consistently. This is difficult for most people. To us, soon means in a month, or two, but so far it hasn't turned out to be that fast for most of what we are looking forward to full enactment of Nisara law, and full disclosure of the ET presence hasn't happened yet. You pointed out that what soon means to many beings, is that they can sense the potential of something building, that they are actually commenting on the fact that a certain reality is building up to critical mass, before it becomes outwardly visible. Yet all of us are also in that reality, in a way, because all of us are also on the ships at night full of anticipation of the joy that awaits us. But in those moments, we're in the etheric. We don't experience time that way, while in an awake state yet, so we feel a bit let down some days. Lenin, I would say, don't judge along the old 3D lines of thought. You're all experiencing plenty more than you realize. For one, your brains are functioning differently now than they used to. Your waking thoughts are taking on a higher order, and you are interweaving the high heart, and its intuitive understanding with your thought processes more often, including the non-linear view of time. Part of that is this powerful, sentient light pouring in, which contains elements that Earth has not experienced in a long time, or a purer form of them than she has known for a long time. And part of that is the fact that all of the energy in the cosmos has shifted to a higher order. Everything is ascending, and not only Earth. So humanity's inner light is increasing, and so are your interdimensional awarenesses, your citus, advanced spiritual abilities, and clairabilities, clairvoyance, clairadience, clairsentience, etc., and your memories. Caroline Memories of what? Lenin, other lives you've lived. Other planets you've been on, and other star systems. Higher level agreements, such as soul agreements, and experiences. Higher dimensional music that you love. Colors you don't have on the earth plane. It's a long list. Caroline. You were saying last week that it's time we started living as 21st century humans, and accepted our birthright. What birthright is that? Lenin, you're familiar with the fact that it's not just your DNA, and overall consciousness that got downgraded when the current usurpers came in. With that, humanity's self-image also got trampled. You were creator gods, and goddesses. But over a few centuries, they managed to grind humans down to where you felt that life just happens to you, and that you had little to no control over your reality. Caroline. And now we are realizing we create all of our experiences, yes. Yet we are still subject to the astrological alignments we have no control over. No say on how long it will take the universe to evolve. Lenin. It is true, even given that. You are still creators, because how you hold those issues in your heart-mind, 
determines much of the quality of your day-to-day -day life. You are the universe, that's the part you lost, and now you're regaining it. Caroline I wonder how long it will take us to get that back. Because most people are given very clear specifications in childhood about who they are, what's possible for them, and what life is like. We spend hundreds of lifetimes on this earth, most of us, hearing very early on about what is not possible for us, so that over time, even the most forward-looking child is squashed into denial, and a very small self-concept. Lenin, these energies are reversing much of that. Much of awakening means remembering. You are rejoining with lost aspects of your consciousness, and even bits of your soul held in other realms. You are all healing the fracturing of soul, and heart-mind, suffered over the centuries. Caroline So now I want to ask, what's that got to do with the oncoming full disclosure? Lenin, everything. Because as you reclaim your place as children of the universe, and not only children of Earth, you begin to see that it's not only the world that's your oyster, but the all that is. Caroline I wouldn't know what to do with endless possibility. I'm just thinking in terms of, how do we finally end wars on this planet? How do we get everyone fed, and housed, and assisted with medical issues? How do we create fair government structures, and oust the frauds, and deceivers? My interests are more down to earth at the minute. Lenin, and that is best, because, of course, you, and your light bearer friends are full of love, and concern for earth life. But everything is intertwined with everything else. Once people begin to understand that they are not alone in the universe, and that they can accept help from the star nations, that they have family amongst them, well, that changes everything. Then the small self-concept dissolves, the lies, and false programming fade away, and the true face of everyone, and everything emerges for all to see. Caroline Then we really remember, we remember who we are, and who we're meant to be. Lenin, absolutely. This goes beyond what people image as individual, personal manifestations. This changes the whole playing field. Because now you're in the quantum. Now your reach extends out as far as your higher good will allow. Caroline. And then we are truly once again, a part of the galactic expanse, integrated with the other civilizations. Hopefully. Lenin, they welcome you. We all do. Naturally, some are more neutral than others, and some more wary of Earth civilization than others. Yet many with arms held wide open. Caroline. I, hope, they will be patient with us. We have a lot to understand yet, and a lot to remember. Though we used to travel the stars, we haven't for a long time. Lenin. It will all come back to you. In a sense, you never really left. Caroline. Thank you, my friend. That gives me, hope, that we are nearly there. Lenin, and so, it is. Can you grasp all this as real in your heart-mind? Then you are already there. Namaste, friends. We bow to the divinity within you all. Channel, Carolina Oceana Ryan.